I've got dual PC setups, and I'm a person who streams on Twitch with my dual PC. I've got a 3090 in my streaming rig, and it never actually plays a game. You know, you're really cute, but I don't know what you're saying. Streaming PC. Fire mm -hmm. is good. $170. Let me show you. Let me show you how this. I need to feel you, Jerry. Show me the money. Is, is the better choice. Before we get into this, let me tell you about the sponsor of this video, Lightstream. This video is brought to you by Lightstream. Lightstream is a cloud-based streaming service where you can stream directly from your console to Lightstream, and then they will re-encode your stream with professional overlays. Things like stream elements, rainmaker.gg, a whole bunch of things like videos and graphics you can put onto your stream and never have to use a streaming PC to do these things. Right now, you can get 25% off your first three months by using my coupon code DarkendCyrus. So make sure you go ahead and visit the link in the description to go ahead and order Order this and thank you to Lightstream for sponsoring this video. Yes, inside this box is a PC. Inconceivable! Not only that, an HDMI cable, power brick, it's all in here. And yes, it will stream. I have actually done, I'm gonna unbox this while we do this. I have done many PC streams on my channel before. I did one of the little stick PCs that's just an HDMI stick. We did a streaming PC with that. We also did a small J4125 chip streaming rig. Flawless, two capture cards, everything. I gotta tell you, it was perfect. Perfect. So yes, the product has been proven to work and this chip is already faster than those. So do I expect a problem? No. So this is the... Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. Oh man, what is the brand name? Oh, if only they would put it somewhere where I could see it. Oh, the Camrui Mini PC. Camrui? Cam 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 I don't know. What do, you, what do you guys think? Camrui? 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 It's right there. Camrui? Cam Camrui? Buongiorno. Anyway, mini PC, there's so many things that we can do with this, but I just want to go over the specs of what this PC is so you can kind of understand what you get. For $170, this was one of those like coupon code things that they had on Amazon, but regularly you can see this chip for about this price. We actually got to cover what else is in the box. So as you can see, it's just a box that everything comes in. Oh my God! Wow! Then right here, we do get the power brick. I think it's just a, it's a 10 watt TDP chip. So it's not gonna use a bunch of power, but I do think it was like 40 max all core everything used. They give you a small like three foot HDMI cable and then they give you a VESA mount plate so that if you wanted to mount it to the back of a monitor, if you have, that's actually a really cool idea, but mount it to the back of your TV if it's not VESA mounted, you know, this is a really cool option. They include it really nice and they even include the screws to do it. Inside this rig is an N5105. This is a Celeron processor from Intel. This boosts to 2.9 gigahertz and has four cores and four threads. On board for this unit, we have eight gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and a 256 gigabyte NVMe SSD. And that is a 2280 PCIe Gen 3 SSD. So you can do some cool things with it, which we might try out later, but not for this video. Maybe even external, what is that like? External graphics card hooked up to this? And Make this a crazy gaming PC? We'll see. Also on board is Bluetooth 5.2 and Wi-Fi 6, as well as it also having a Ethernet LAN port. It's got four USB ports, two USB 3.0, two USB 2.0, and it also has two HDMI ports. It's pretty cool. Headphone jack, and the way that it sits, this is about the size of it here. I'll get my iPhone, but we can kind of do a size comparison so you can see. Here's the unit. It's about, you know, kind of seeing what it is. This is where it shipped. And here's my iPhone 12 Pro Max for size comparison. That's what she said. <laughs> okay. And then for thickness, thick boy, I've been touching it. See, so it's got fingerprints on it for thickness. Boy, he's thick! Boy! And then for an iPhone thickness, maybe those of you tech gurus, this is an iFixit kit. If you can see the comparison in size. It's all about the size, guys. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this one actually has a really cool feature. Uh, it actually has two of these little clips. They're right on the bottom and you click these two clips and this bottom part, this is actually two pieces of this PC, bottom part removes. And so this is the bottom of the actual rig. Again, if it'll focus on the rig, you can see that right about here, there's a USB-C port. There's the actual USB-C port. And why would you need this? You can put a 2.5 inch SSD in this, or you can have a smaller unit, less thick, and not have to worry about this. Cool option.
option. I wish they would have just married them together. Marriage is what brings us together today. Cool nonetheless. I do plan to do a teardown guide of this so you can see the inside in the SSD, but we'll do it in the video where we do some funny stuff with it. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video where we kind of upgrade this PC to be a gaming PC. All right, now that I've bored you with the specs, let's go ahead and plug it in. I'm gonna plug in my Xbox and we're gonna connect a webcam as well as not only just a webcam, but we're gonna connect basically two capture cards. And we're gonna see, can we saturate this thing? Can we stream from it? How does that work? What does it look like? And let's just test out the limitations of this device. Oh, and one cool accessory I just wanna show you guys is this actual little mini keyboard. Again, if the camera ever focuses, this little mini keyboard that I picked up, it has a touchpad right up here, as well as all of your buttons it's actually really cool this was 12 bucks and for these little mini pcs they're going to be connected where you don't want to have to have a keyboard and mouse connected and you're not necessarily playing games on it yeah you could use this i wonder if i could win a match in call of duty with this welcome to the gulag do you do you think you could win a match for Call of Duty in this? Do you think you could be top of kills? I mean, I guess skill-based matchmaking. If you just suck a bunch, eventually win. <laughs> ah, Call of Duty, don't be such a bad game. If you're a Call of Duty pro and you hate what I just said, then roast me in the comments. That's fine. It's, it's, it's whatever. So just for reference, we're about to go over to my like console area. I just wanted to kind of show you a little bit of this before we actually get into it. Um, yeah, it's a mess. Uh, Hudson toys, everything. But right here is the mini PC. I've been testing out a couple of different capture cards like the Elgato HD60S and also the Mira Box. We're using the, the new Roam webcam for the next few shots and then also the Xbox One X. There's a lot of cool stuff that's coming with this. So let me take you over and show you how well not only this captures 1080p60 but how seamless it was to connect. So yeah, let's get into it. So what you're looking at right now is the new Roam webcam. This is the V21 and it's actually capturing directly onto the mini PC. It's right beside it. It's really cool. This whole setup uh, just works and we'll talk about the specifics here in a moment, but webcam, uh, the audio is actually the Rode Wireless Go 2 being captured on a different PC, but I'll switch to the audio of that webcam right now. And that's, this is what it sounds like from that webcam audio if you just wanted to use webcam audio. Also attached is the Mirrorbox capture card and uh, that's connected to the uh, Xbox One X. We'll talk about some settings and stuff later, but for this mini PC, seeing as it's kind of like a little console area, I got this little touchpad like keyboard thing that has proven to be just mint, brother, mint. So I'm actually going to switch over to console. And what you don't see, I'll show you here in a second, is I'm actually playing this from the preview window here. I'll show you. I'll turn the webcam around so you can see. So what you see right now is, like this is the TV. This is a 43 inch TV. Like that should show you how wide field of view this thing is. But I'm actually playing from the preview window on the controller I just dropped. But we're playing on the preview window. This is Ori Will of the Wisps. It's not really like capturing the colors too much or too great right now, but everything's here. You can see there's the mini PC. There is the capture card. I was trying out the HD60S. For some reason it wasn't working. I think it was a me problem though. So let's do a little bit of gameplay. So you can kind of see, like this is what your stream could be on a mini PC like this. Nothing crazy. I've literally done or like Ori so many times just for like tests and never actually saved the game or played long enough to get to a save. So you should be able to hear the game as I'm playing. And this game only plays in 30 FPS, but that really shouldn't like say anything. I think I had Warzone on here at one time, but I'm not gonna take the time to download a 60 frames per second game. You're, what you need to know is that this video is in 60 FPS, and because it's a capture card, it's still capturing 60. So anything you wanna throw at this, it's going to do just fine. And this thing is pretty awesome. Now I am running at like 98% CPU usage. I am topping this thing out. It's crazy. But what I will say is if I were to pass through the HDMI out of that capture card and play off the actual TV, TV from an input, this would be so much easier because I could actually mute the display, like it's called Enable Preview in OBS, and it drops like 30% usage. So I could put some overlays and stuff on and make it look really nice with this. Now I tried to do worst case, webcam, you know, capture card. Something I was gonna do is connect a microphone, but I didn't have a mic that, I don't know how to hold a mic right here. <laughs> That's why I thought wireless audio was probably the best way to do it. So, but as you can see, I'm still pinging 100% and this looks really good. It probably looks a a little choppy because I have the settings all the way down on the recording and we'll talk about that in just a moment. You can play around with this. I just wanted to show you that I can
can get a flawless recording experience that looks good with overlays with this mini PC. So what you need to know is that this PC is an Intel PC, which means it comes with several different options for capture. You get X264, which is actually encoding with the CPU, and then you can also use the media encoder on the chip, which is QuickTime or QuickSync, and that's actually what we're using. I'm gonna actually pick this camera up and turn it around, and we're gonna see how well you can see those settings. Um, I'll probably screenshot this and put it up as well, but I'm just gonna show you. Right now we're using QuickSync H264. I'm so shaky, I'm so sorry. We're gonna scroll down a little bit, and here are my, my settings that I'm currently using. We're using very fast, which is the fastest preset, which means it's like the, the worst quality, I guess you would say. 6,000 bit rate, normal latency, B, B frames are two, keyframe is two. This is like what you would stream to Twitch. And so, Nothing crazy, nothing over the top. I'm not running the program and administrator. Like nothing that is over overly done. I do think this is the perfect thing for a capture card to a console and a great option. And it's really fast, like really snappy. Windows 11, eight gigabyte of RAM. And yeah, so I think this will bring me to the end of this review. What do you think? Do you think that investing a hundred and I think it was 60 or $70 as it's still on sale right now. Do you think that that's a good investment for your stream? I think it's going to live right here and be a cloud gaming device on this TV where I don't have to have an Xbox connected. So I think it it was a great investment for me. You know, what do you think? So drop down in the comments, let us know what you think, if you have other options, if this PC works or what. Just, I think that N5105 chip is a really good option. So thanks guys. If you're looking for some really awesome microphones, we've reviewed several lately. So I'll put those to right here. And then over here, I'm gonna put the K688 microphone, which is my like, Mwah, I love that mic. You're gonna love it as well. You should go check it out. Thank you. <laughs>